Uh, uh, first off, we'll be placing the cube at the beginning of the conveyor belt. We'll travel down the first, second area with the stamp. We'll be paint on the die, clean it. There will be a stamp attached to the cylinder, stamps it. This is a motorized cylinder. We'll stand, stamp the die, the track, come to the next station where there will be a third sensor. That will trigger the robot. It will swing over and that will trigger the vacuum in the back. So then it will catch onto the dice. It will bring it over to the other second station where it will be placed down on top of the slider. The pneumatic drill will come up and down the drill depending on what side you're using. There's, it's on top of two slides, it will be wide and flex. So then on the side to side, drill the number of model holes that's required. For my part, what I have done was wiring. Uh, it took quite a amount of time to wire PLC, all terminals to sensors, solenoids. Uh, what's left to do for this part is troubleshoot. I'm having some troubles with uh, sensors not working. And that's what I'm doing for my electrical part. Basically, what I've been doing is I've been helping out Russell. We've been working on uh, making our. Uh, We've been taking extrusions, cutting it down, we've been tapping it, we've been taking, uh, I've made basically all the brackets. Uh, but what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, my, my part is the robot, which I'm going to explain. I'm going to, when the sensor hits, I have to take the part and move it over there. Basically what happens is uh, every time it comes the whole act, the robot moves the part out and I got a rope here every time every day for six uh for six holes. Basically uh, where I'm at right now is uh, I have to throw it out on the I just have to make the points but I have to just do the points that I to for when the block is here, when the sensor detects the block, start the motor, start the conveyor. I had to do the whole stamping station where I have a solenoid that extends, stamps it, the motor that turns on, moves the arm forward, stamps it. All that don't kill you. I have it the uh, conveyor belt stopping every time it's being stamped. I have the block moving to the end of the conveyor belt and then well, obviously Fatty has a robot that picks up the arm and drops to the drilling station. And on the drilling station I'm programming right now, which is the most difficult part. I did um, major fabrication. Basically, I just started, we all had to start from scratch. Um, I had to use extrusion rods to make the base for the conveyor belt. And I had to use extrusion rod here to make sure the motor is stable. And also make, had to make a shaft and um, bearings inside the shaft so the belt can go accordingly. And then um, for everything to be sturdy, I have to put bases and I have to drill holes into the bases and tap them so um, everything is sturdy. Today what I'm working on is a base for this um, vacuum right now. I just have to drill some holes into it and then um, tap, tap the holes so I can um, glue it to the table. Um, the next thing we did was um, I had to make a base plate for the pneumatic sliders. So one pneumatic slider, I made brackets for it to hold one pneumatic slider, then I made a base for it to hold the next pneumatic slider. So you can go like And then um, I had to use three or uh, four extrusion rods for it to hold the, the pneumatic slider for the drill. So you can go up and down. And I basically have to make a plate for this. And I had to make uh, one of the troubleshooting we had was um, um, this thing was too far away from the robot, so we had to move all the table around and we had to actually do calculations where this can go in X and this will go in Y, and we had to make sure that the drilling goes to the exact positions of the dice. Alright, my role is about mathematics. Everything is all nice. And last week, we got the And everything is working right now. I'm to power it. We can also control from POC and stuff. The only problem that I came with is supplying power to the wrong end. And it wasn't given the full power. So we just supply power and we have a lot of now. Everything is here. The only problem was that we were blocking this. And when we supply power to it, the only extent doesn't come back, so we need a extra exhaust to come back, so it's all air going on, all the stuff and then we install the flow controls, because we need high pressure for the drilling, 
how you got to drill, right? And then these solenoids can move on 60 psi, so we install slow control so they can move slowly and uh, don't damage anything.